You are listening to Game Break, brought to you by HNE. This review is written by Nathaniel Stormblade on Sunday, October 26, 2008 for the game Guitar Hero World Tour for all game consoles. In an effort to keep up on top of the surge of music-based games, Guitar Hero World Tour introduces the band concept previously cornered in the market by Rock Band. The m- major difference is in the interactive community and music creation features. However, the PlayStation 2 version does not have the online access or features. The instruments are the lead guitar, bass guitar, drums, and microphone. The differences for each console's version of the game vary ever so slightly, so it's not worth mentioning. The only new instrumental feature not previously mentioned is on the guitar. It is the star power bar on the other strum bar. Read the preview on our website to get the scoop on the instruments. The game plays just like the previous versions of Guitar Hero. Match a gem, to a note, and strum, tap or sing. The difficulty of songs has been toned down on the expert level to encourage downloading of new content. There are a number of online multiplayer features, including instrument duels, band jamming, and battles. There are also a number of local multiplayer features for two to four players with different instruments. The Wii version gets an exclusive free play feature using Miis and an on-disc shot for downloadable content. What separates this game from others is how the GH tunes and music studio tie in together. Players can make their own songs, preview and download other people's songs. When making their own songs, players can utilize manual and automatic instruments for rhythm, lead guitar, bass guitar, drums, and electronic keyboard. The interface takes a little getting used to, but after viewing the tutorial, it's a lot easier to understand. The game's graphics look better than it did in the previous version. Motion capturing was used for complete songs involving guest band members. Thus, the guest band members' movements are very natural looking. The game's sound is Dolby Logic 2 Stereo. Playing this game without the stereo audio or surround sound cranked should be a crime against rock. The game is loaded with over 80 songs and Four available for free to download at release. Is this game worth its price? Yes, only if the, a player's love for music reaches beyond a single genre. To read more in relation to what was covered in this segment, previews, reviews, and other game related articles, log on to www.hasalage.net.